everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS mini laptop. The model for this one is an BR1100CK model and they call them as an army grade laptop. I don't know, it's just pure plastic. The model is right on the bottom here. It says BR1100CK and in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the storage on these ones. They do come with two types of storage and you know, on saddle on the board is storage, which is 128 gig. Sometimes there are some versions with a 64 gig EMMC chip, which is a, a small memory chip soldered on the board, but there are versions that they do give you an extra storage, 120 gig, 128 gigabyte extra storage for PCIe.2. But in some of them, they don't even have it. So you can actually use this video to upgrade yours and add an extra storage. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you what kind of storage and how you can install it. All right, with all this set, let's get started. Tool number one that you need is a screwdriver set. The screwdriver set I'll be using is an i6 screwdriver. And from this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. I love this tool set because they're made of a really hard steel alloy and they will last you many years. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools. If not, just like me, go get yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this set, we're gonna power off the laptop, back up your files in case you have a really important files, but nothing's gonna happen if you already have it in the main drive. So we're gonna remove all the screws that we see on the bottom cover here. So it's start from one corner and it start loosening up the screws. The screws have a little C-lock on them, so you just have to pretty much rotate until you feel that it's loosened up. So go ahead, do that to all the screws, starting from one corner. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own upgrade and repaste everything else, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that I loosen up all the screws that I see on the bottom, we're gonna grab our opening tool. Let's go ahead and remove this. Sometimes they do come with a little pencil here. Uh, sometimes they don't, this one doesn't, so just leave it there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna stick. When you uh, flip it open, it does turn on, so you just have to shut it down. You can just hold it down for a few seconds. It will shut down right away. So I'm holding the power button and it shuts down. All right, we're gonna stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna rotate like this. And we're gonna do this every few centimeters all the way in the front end. Going to the corner. Going to the side. Go to where the power button is. I'm sticking about one or two millimeter. I'm not sticking too much. And I'm gonna do this end too. And you wanna hear those clicks, so that the clicks are getting loose. That's what you wanna do. There we have it. So pretty much, it's all loose enough. Now we're gonna grab it gently and lift it up. Bring it here and we don't want to yank it upward. We're just going to open it up like a pamphlet and bring the bottom towards the battery gently and flip it just like this. And there we have it. But if you lift it up, you're going to damage the flex cable for the trackpad and the keyboard. All right, now we can, we can disconnect these ones if you want to. If you want to know how to disconnect them, you just put your finger right at the back of the jack in here and just lift it up 90 degree and slide in 45 degree the connector backward. The connector has a little ear lobes, so you have to go in 45 and set it down. For this one, the connector is at the back, the left, on the back side, lift it up a little bit, 90 degree, and slide out. This one that has no ear lobes, so it just slides in, and there's your palm rest with a keyboard and trackpad. All right, down here we can see the motherboard, there's no fan system, because this is a Celeron CPU, there's a Wi-Fi board, and here is, the EMMC chip, the on board, it should be somewhere under here, soldered on the board. That one, you cannot upgrade or do anything to it. 
The one that I, you can actually remove and upgrade is this one right here. This is a Kingston M.2 PCI Express. So that means you can put an NVMe. I recommend you guys to put a uh, Samsung brand, Samsung Evo Plus or Samsung Pro. It will give you much longer time than any other brand. To remove this one, you just remove one screw at the back and bring this one in 45 degree or in 10 degree, just like this and slide it backward. Just like that. Okay. These are M.2 NVMe PCI Express. You can put up to two terabyte and it works fine. We have upgraded up to two terabyte without any issue. People in the call center, they tell you, oh, no, I call them up. They're like, no, you can go up to 500 gig or 256 gig on the forms on the website. They can know maximum you can go up to 256 I read somewhere, but that's really not true. This is a PCI Express lane 2.5 and it can detect up to two terabytes without any issues. Let's say that you got the new one, make sure the NVMe has one notch on there. Okay, I have one here, I have another one over here, they all have the same notch, okay? So what you wanna do, you wanna grab your NVMe, you wanna bring it down in 45 degree, make sure the notch is right at this side. If you pay attention inside the jack, you can see it in here, but there's a little tiny notch right in there. So there's a gap. So if I even try to put it that way around, it will not go through. It will just not go through. So I want to bring it down in 10, 15 degree, all the way there. I'm going to push it towards the jack and it makes a tiny click. And then I'm going to let it go. And the screw hole has to really match in there. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to screw it down. And there we have it. Also people are like, okay, you need to disconnect the battery. You don't absolutely need to disconnect the battery to do this service. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you want to be paranoid, you can just pull this cable back and the jack will get disconnected from there. The CMOS battery is right here. You don't have to touch it. The main battery is this one. You want to put it back in, make sure you put it straight inward and squeeze it right in there. But you do not need to remove the battery to do your own upgrades. All right. and. Once you're done with that one, you want to grab the palm rest. First, let's go ahead and put this jack in, open up the contact and slide it in. Work and make sure it goes all the way in and lock it. Grab the flex cable for the keyboard, bring it down in 45 degree inside the jack and lock it down. Next, all you need to do is to bring it on top, put it straight over and just squeeze it in and pinch the corners. Okay, just pinch all the way in the back. Pinch the back corner. Make sure you do those nice flex in the corners. And once you finish with that, just close it down. Flip it upside down. And all you need to do is to tighten up the screws on the bottom here. So you start tightening up. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like and subscribe. If you have any more questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the screws. I'm actually gonna turn the power on for those people that are really paranoid that are telling me that it shouldn't turn on because I didn't disconnect the battery or anything like that. You absolutely don't need to. And let me just grab it, power it on, and it will turn on without any issue. There you have it. And it's going to start loading the windows. It is kind of slow, but there it is. And that's it.